Edo State Indigenes cry out and says Obaseki killed his father. When asked how do you mean, he said he failed to implement the anti-grazing law, which we see to it that Edsmen leave their state or go on to ranching. Suspected Edsmen, they cut off my father's throat when he went to harvest his yam in his farm. I mean, this has sparked up a lot of reactions and um, the people are not happy. Of course, nobody will be happy. People are not happy. People are very worried. All because, to a large extent, are we saying that states that have implemented anti-grazing law in the South, that hurts men have been totally eradicated? No. But what happens is if there is a law in place, I mean, people are not happy. Obaseki, after, you know, Southern governors agreed, he was in the meetings. Okay, the first one was in Asaba and then Lagos, then in the east. And um, the agreement was reached by September. They had a deadline. You know, those who wanted to do it, who were not traitors or sabotage in the park, went ahead and implemented it. When Obaseki found out that he could, he could have no more hiding place, he came out to say, eh, so what do you want me to do now? How do I implement it even if I sign the anti-grazing law? Employ youths that are looking for a job, just like they do in the Southwest called Amuteko. Vigilante, get them to ensure that this is, you know, enforced. Let's get all the details. Obaseki, killed my father, a suspected hitman, Caught up my father's throat when he went to harvest yam on his farm. Son cries out. The son of a slain farmer and other community members recently protested the death of some farmers in Edo State. The son of the deceased and some Okada community residents spoke during the interview with ITV News. They were very angry as the son said partially to a large extent, it is the fault of the governor who refused to sign the anti-grazing law. So headsmen coming from down east to the south are coming to Edo State because there is no law in Edo State. And those coming from Undo coming to Edo State see the problem we are facing. Farmers can no longer to go to farm, look after themselves because some headsmen are dragging our lands with us. Obaseki refused to implement the anti-grazing law. There was an unease come at the Okada community in Ovie, South local government area of Edo State following the killing of subsequent suspected of farmers by suspected headsmen. The community youth recently barricaded the Benin Okada Road to draw attention to their plight. Narrating his father ordeal, the son of the disease said, I was at home when I when I was told that my father got killed in the community i was i was i was the news was being shared to me and i decided to visit the crime scene to investigate i saw my father's calves in the bush and his throat has been sliced i got told i i got asked to wait for the arrival of the police and the officers have since taken my father's body away the victim's son added that his father had left to harvest yam on Tuesday and had promised to return home on time. Community members called for justice while alleging that Hetzman has carried out similar attack on other people. The young man was very angry. So this is what is going on right now. People are not happy in the community. Of course, nobody will be happy with such an incident and development currently ongoing in the, in the community. Governor Godwin Obaseki, to a large extent, should be blamed. Okay, like I earlier reiterated to you, he has a part to play in all of this. Obaseki refused to implement anti-grazing law, asking Nigerians how he was going to implement it. I beg your pardon, go and ask Akere Dulu, ask Fayemi, ask Dikpo, ask uh, Oyetola, ask Sheyi Makinde, ask the rest of them. They are all not of the same party. So it's not as though because they are all, for instance, APC. Hence, they are able to implement it. They are getting one extra cash somewhere. No. For every money that is disbursed to a state, for whatever reason and purpose, there is an allocation tagged or titled in that money, security. 
What do they do with their one and uh, the one sent to a do state? Does it go into some people's purse? Why can't it be used? Because I put it to you, do your investigation. It's not being paid by the federal government. The answer is no. Amutekun is not being paid by the federal government. The answer again I say is no. Amutekun is being paid for by the state government of the state. So, if you say you don't know how to implement it, go and ask Amutekun. Go and ask the Amutekun governors how they are able to implement and ensure there is safety for their people. You can't wake up one morning and tell Nigerians, how am I going to implement it? Yet your people are in dilemma. Look at what happened the other day in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in those states. What was the resultant effect we got? We were told clearly that these things you are saying is happening because some persons, some people, apparently, you know, apparently has been, you know, uh, have been committing crime in Ondo states, some headsmen, and they ran to uh, Edo states when they began to, when Amutekun began to trace to find out who these wicked people are. They found out that they were Fulani headsmen, and some of them have run to Edo state. Edo state has no law. Where there is no law, there is no crime. Where there is no law, there is no sin. So Obaseki has got to protect his people however way he can do it. At those states, I feel very strongly that, you know, you should hold your governor responsible. Your governor is part and parcel of why things are the way they are. Are we saying that if he has signed the law and um, even has put those people that were totally right? No, but to a large extent, full any headsmen will know. Okay, maybe a uh, those state governor has been promised by Obaseki that he'll become a, a, a senator or probably vice president or president. I don't know exactly. Hence, he, has, he, cannot, he cannot break the promise because he has been promised and um, he, he holds those people in high esteem and uh, much more than the people he's serving. Why will you agree with your people to do certain things? You go back and you do something totally, completely opposite the difference, you know, different to what you guys have agreed. How does it work? How? Just how does it work? So this is what is happening. You know, people are not happy. Somebody's father has been slain and um, it, is, it is really difficult times. Please accept our condolences, you know, in this kind of time and this season that people are not even sure what next. Unless God help. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Bye.